Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Worshipful Wednesday. It's the first Wednesday in this new year. I hope that you know God has great blessings in store for you. We are so excited as God is blessing us. We hope and pray that you will pause on this first Wednesday of the year to give God the glory, the honor and the praise and tell him thank you for all he has done. Today, I ask that you continue with me into the book of Hebrews 11th chapter, verses 23 to 31, a great powerful passage. This is a passage that lets us know it was by faith that Moses' parents hid him for three months when he was born. They saw that God would use him because he was an unusual child. And they were not afraid to disobey the king's command because they believe God had something great in store for their child, Moses. And they knew that God would bless him like ever before. It's amazing that this text begins to let us see that even that which we call civil disobedience took place in the Old Testament. That was command that all of these young children should die. But Moses' parents believed that God had something great in their child. It is amazing how you and I need to know that God doesn't want any of the little children to be killed. He wants all of them to live. He wants all of them to grow. He doesn't want them to be victims of genocide. He doesn't want them to be victims of somebody using, quote unquote, some kind of new medication to see if it works on babies. But God is doing something great. God is allowing them to see that he wants to use this child. The parents of Moses knew that God had something great in store for him. They hid him for three months. Now, how do you hide a crying baby for three months? That tells us a little bit something about Moses. Moses had a temperament. God had a spirit that God was giving to him even when he was a child. As he grew up and as he got older, the parents of Moses put him in what we called an ark. They allowed that ark, that little basket, to make its way to Pharaoh's daughter. Pharaoh's daughter believed that her God had blessed her with a child. Little did she know that God was using her in a way that she never would have imagined. It is amazing how God can use us with children. There's so many children out there that need to be adopted. There's so many children out there to need, that need to know that somebody loves them. In so much so that God blessed Pharaoh's daughter with a child, Moses. And then Moses was blessed that his big sister got a chance to be his babysitter. You don't tell me that God doesn't give him, doesn't give us favor. You find out how God gave him favor. All those other little babies were being killed, but God spared Moses life. It was then that God used this same little sea, this same little waterway that will allow Moses to get to what is known as the Pharaoh's palace. He did something bigger with Moses. He allowed Moses to do a miracle in water that Moses depart. He divided the Red Sea. And you find out that the Israelites departed on, the gra on dry ground and the Egyptians could not catch them. This lets us see that even when the enemy is coming up behind you, doesn't matter how close they are, God will always deliver you. It's then that you and I will know that God has a great blessing in store for us all. I want to remind you, as God did big things with Moses, God wants to do big things with you. God wants to make your life bigger and better than you ever would have imagined. It all begins with just one little decision. Make that little decision to accept Christ and to allow him to be Lord of your life. And then God will allow you to flow down streams you've never seen. He will allow you to cross overseas that you never would have imagined. And then you'll say that I'm exceedingly and abundantly blessed and is bigger than I ever would have thought. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. We'll look forward to talking with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. 
Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.